in this video i'm going to give you main top dtp 5.3 so if you don't have it i want you to watch to the end of this video and i'll show you the link to the software now main top is a standard software that we use for printing with chinese large format machines so you you need to understand that without main top you cannot print on your large format machine here is what the interface of main top looks like it's a very basic but extremely complex software yeah i know that's quite <laughs> an opposite but yes it's a very basic software uh, with it you can do your graphic design you can do all kinds of things you can color items you can do whatever you want uh there's a ton of things you can do with main top uh, color items you can do and just about anything you want whatever you expect from coral draw you can get from main top and that's something you have to remember uh beyond that also you use main top for printing so which means without it, you cannot connect to most Chinese large format machines. There's another software they call Print XP, but main top usually supersedes, especially for machines that were built before 2021. Uh, if you're watching this video, you most likely bought your machine in the last two, three years, which falls within that same window. So you're going to be looking for main top, and that's what I'm going to give you as a gift in this video but when you collect main top from the folder i'm about to show you where you download it how do you install it so i'm going to install main top for you to see somebody came to my shop yesterday i wanted to know how to install main top so it's because of people like that that i make this video now stay tuned now this is what you're going to do for me you will hit the subscribe button you hit the like button turn on the notification bell and then i'll see you in the video all right we're here so i'm going to close this main top now and then I'm going to install it to install it I have a folder here this is a copy of the folder you are going to find in the link to the description like I said I'll give you the link to the description where you get access to all the files in this folder now you open border main top when you do get the file and then you press this one that says setup.exe so you double click on it to run it and then you say yes it's going to bring this interface to you and then you press main top DTP and then you press OK. It's going to do a couple of runs in less than two seconds. It's going to be done. And when it is done, it will give you this screen. Something about main top is failed. Now, don't pay attention to this. It doesn't mean it's not working. It's just a bug in the main top software. And then you press OK. And then it's going to ask you to restart immediately. Ignore that and press restart later and then click close. Now the interface is going to bring out two screens. One is going to be the readme file uh, if you ever need this. So if you close this readme file, then it's going to bring you this page where you're going to find main top. The folder is going to give you three options. It's going to give you uninstall, it's going to give you the main top print manager, and it's going to give you main top itself. If you use Windows 10, right? this file is always going to be deleting and so don't worry why it's always deleting it's just a problem with windows defender and windows 10 so there's practically nothing you can do about that so you just have to make do with what bad situation you have you will always have to reinstall this particular file so in case you open uh maybe you search main top and you cannot find this file right what you'll do is go back to that same folder called brownie right and then install via this route and then you'll have it again now the next thing we need to do is open main top once we open main top now uh now it's gonna load up uh so we want to go to somewhere called file this like the top left corner here so you say file and then you go to printer setup because now you have to set up the printer that it's supposed to use so you press install custom and then you'll go into the main top folder again and now you want to target a specific file called new folder so this new folder now is where the driver is so if you open color driver so this is where i draw a very important caveat for you the color driver that i'm about to gift to you in in this folder belongs to a Yinge machine right and the Yinge G model series so if your machine is not the Yinge G model series you might have a bit of problem using this particular color driver uh, if you open KC I have also a driver for KC boards but that doesn't mean it's going to work with your machine so 
uh, I cannot help you with color driver. So basically what you're getting for free in this, in this video is the color driver for KC and Yinge uh, uh, YD boards, especially for the Yinge G model series. If these are not the models that you use, then I can't help you with the color driver. But what, what you can do is go to your manufacturer or whoever sold the machine to you to give you the color driver, right? So, and your color driver would have a EasyJet.inf. Even if it's not EasyJet, it will have something.inf. So this is the information file for the printer that you're going to use to attach on top of Maintop. Maintop is actually printer agnostic. It is only the color driver you add here that determines what main top should print. And that's why we all can use it universally. I, I can't promise you that this particular main, uh, color driver will work on your machine. That's an important caveat that I know you have to put into consideration. Now let's continue with the video. The easyjet.inf is the file you want to double click on and then you would have the file. So now that is the file, easyjet15w. And then you press set as default printer and then you hit OK. So once you do that, I can now go to File, New, and then Change. Now, there's a problem here because now it's rendering in millimeters. So we need to change this from millimeters to inches. To do that, press OK first, and then you go to Options, Under Units. You press Unit, change it from millimeters to inches for the double size. Ignore these spaces, and then you press OK. So if you go back to page setup, file, page setup, you will see it now in inches. We want to do 24 by 24, uh, whatever, and then you accept. So you go to file, import picture, and then you can now go to any place in your machine. Let's go to say pictures, and then pick just about any picture. Uh, I'm gonna pick this guy and then click OK. Now you can adjust. For some couple of quick settings, you want to come here and press this button so that you can always have this handler. With this handler now, you can change the size of this file. So you can even change it to 24 by 36 if you wanted portrait, or you can also turn it 90 degrees if you wanted. Maybe your machine prints wider than it is long that's where you control that and then you now also want to bring this guy out especially when you want to do some things like adjusting this to the center of the page or adjusting it vertically to the center of the page if you were printing stickers you can uh, come down here select this shrink this guy down considerably if you're printing stickers you can copy this and paste this and you paste it a couple more times and then select everything and then here now you can say put a margin of 0.1 or let's say 0.5 in between each item so when you press this it will just space it by 0.5 or you can even say space it by 0.1 to reduce the possible spaces in between so that way you can delete the rest you can select this one Control g to group and then copy again paste a couple more times and then you can put 0.1 in between these and then you have that so that's pretty much how main top works this is not a video showing you how to lay stickers or anything it's just a video showing you where to get main top so now that we're on the part where you get main top uh, i'm going to leave the link to main top in the video description so go to the video description now and you will see the link to download Maintop software for free for your computer now i hope this has helped you if it has i want you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on the notification bell so that when i post a new video you'll be one of the first persons to see it